Bridget Franco with Wow Action Services. Today I am interviewing Elham. She is amazing. I heard that you just won an award in the 48 uh, hour film project uh, because you did a, a film about your humanitarian acts. Please elaborate on it for us. Uh, thank you, Bridget, to honor me for this interview. Uh, yes, uh, I noticed that I really want to help people. And as a female filmmaker, I noticed that it is my responsibility because there are very few people to focus on the Middle East area and what kind of problem women uh, out there are facing each single day. So my last film that wo uh, was uh, awarded as a best filmmaker, I was awarded as best filmmaker, uh, was about the Holocaust. Uh, my approach was that uh, to make a, a film, a new approach that instead of having war and killing each other, what if we think about love each other? What about each single day we bring mercy to each other? Isn't it such a pleasant job we can do and uh, have a peaceful area about us? Because I'm Iranian and, and I raised and I born in the kind of exactly the center of the war between Iraq and Iran. Always I was suffering that same people being killed in front of my face. And I was a little kid and I was uh, like donating my time, spreading uh, my energy toward people that needed help. So all of this affecting my mind and my new film is about Holocaust, uh, sorry, about the to stop people to be killed, especially women in Middle East and their name of Islam. As a Muslim girl, I know that this is not Islam. What they are treating the women is not Islam. It's not never recorded that women should be killed under the name of Islam because they don't want to wear hijab. They don't want to wear burqa. They want to marry with the freedom of choice with a non-Muslim person. Why? Why they should be killed? And uh, I'm very, being threatened by so many people from some out of the Muslim country. This is really bothering me. I mean, they should have stopped to do that because uh, I'm going to continue. And uh, this is my responsibility. And I'm human. And I need some good people help to raise if they can support to make this film happen. Uh, um, I understand that you said some people have been trying to get you to stop, yeah. stop promoting what you're doing. But to us, I mean, you are promoting empowerment for women. Yes. You're promoting that women should be equal and not be treated in a and and a and basically being battered or being treated in any type of poor manner. So uh, why do you think these people are trying to get you to stop, stop doing something good? I know the answer. The first thing is that is the Sorry to tell you, but in so many countries that I lived in so many countries for a while, like I was traveling from Iran to Dubai to Cyprus to Turkey to Canada to India to Spain to just be a better filmmaker, I noticed that in some part of countries, they are the power of men. They want to be the rule. They want to be the king. They want to be the leon of this jungle. If the woman get in power, and power, if we power them, they get a skirt because they are not going to be the ruler anymore. This is the man power I noticed unfortunately over there. So under name of Islam, they bring some kind of reason. They want to hide the reason under name of Islam. They want to treat women like that. You understand? Why they can marry like four women at the same time? What kind of uh, Islam is that? It's not, it's not. The, if there was, for example, for this reason, it was those ancient times that men were very few because of the war and women were, were more. They wanted to support women, but not nowadays. They, this is not the real. So, and another thing is that uh, it's kind of like old kind of fashion of South that if women controlling, maybe the, the thing is going to be ruined or damaged or they cannot have a, a control of the, what the man can do. So it's kind of a tricky way, but uh, yeah. Well, definitely, like you said, there is an old way of thinking, but right now we are in 
the golden age, I like to call it. This is a new age. Uh, I mean, having an African American president, uh, women nowadays are just doing so many things that they couldn't do. Back, like, there's just so many, there's women doing things that they just couldn't do in history. And um, so for you being here in a place where we promote women empowerment, other than your films, what else do you want to do to reach out and to empower women? Uh, I want uh, to teach them, first of all, to um, increase their skills. Because if women try to educate themselves, as I did, I did my education with no support. Uh, I lost my mom in a young hood, very, very young hood, and uh, I lost my father before my mother, and I was the only kid of my parents. So I really raised uh, kind of with, with my grandmother and kind of my financial support by myself. From 17, I started to work. At the same time, I was a high school uh, student. I was teaching to a student too. I tried to be best to make my voice starting from that, that age, to be a different person, to be a better person, to challenge with men around me and challenge with the other women, spoiled women around me. So I believe that we have to make a way to increase their ability to think better and nothing is gonna happen by increasing the opportunity for women to study more and to get the power to think better. Absolutely. Uh, just for me being a young woman myself, listening to you say this is beautiful because, I mean, and they're talking about in five years putting a woman on the $10 bill. So it's it's just nice to see women just empowering each other and, and just change. Um, so other than your film, how else can uh, us young women find you and find your work and hear what you have to say to drive us to to, uh, to want to be a better woman and to, and to also group together and unify and, and empower each other. How else can we find you? How they can reach me, you Yes, mean? like by email or Facebook. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Elham Madani and my company name is Mighty Vision Pictures. So it's, it's kind of like the same thing that I want to do, Mighty Vision Pictures. We have to be all powerful. And uh, I have the different page uh, on Facebook, and my email is the same, Mighty Vision Pictures, with the S at the end, at gmail.com. And I made the competition just today, 48 hours competition, because of honoring uh, your group also. And this is the, the, to the best film, uh, to the best script, I'm going to give a $1,000 reward. And I'm going to bring them to our group and we are going to sponsor them because I'm a producer besides being a director and actress too. So I want to make a feature film based on the best script that mostly, of course, I like the protagonist to be a woman. But um, it's a kind of like a worldwide uh, like a competition. It's not a competition, it's just taking your chance. Never think that is not possible, but it's possible. I made the ad on a stage 32 and uh, also Google Plus and also my, my usually I'm, uh, I'm putting in the Facebook too. So I'm a casting director, so many actors love to work and maybe it's going to be a little bit free, but I'm going to give them IMDb credit and hopefully we get some fund and uh, we can pay everybody. But please help us, help us to help you. We need you right now. If you don't help us, nobody gonna help us. So be a part of us, we are gonna part of you. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. You, this is a pleasure to interview you today. Best of luck to you and I, I'm empowered. <laughs> Thank you.